Hi, I'm Greg. I'm Koa's dad who has XXY. Knowing that he has XXY, you know, male infertility is definitely something that we know comes with that, that diagnosis. And, you know, the fact is he's most likely not going to be able to have biological kids of his own. And, you know, Jen and I, we've had a lot of discussions and Ko is it. Like Koa is our guy. We're having one kid. And, you know, obviously as parents, you know, you want to be able to pass on your family and, you, you know, you want, you, you know, you want a lot of men want to pass down their name and, you know, keeping the family going is a, like, that's, that's, that's how and why we're here. And, you know, knowing that Koa, you know, will probably not be able to have biological kids of his own is definitely something that we've thought about. It's something that we've talked about. And it's also something that we've just had to accept as part of, of who, who, who he is. What's not to say that we had a kid that wasn't sterile that just decided to not have kids, you know? So there's, you know, there's no guarantees of, of anything in life. And, you know, the only guarantee is that there's no guarantees. So for us, you know, we've just accepted that. And, and eventually we're going to have to talk to Koa about that and let him know, you know, when it's appropriate that he's not going to be able to have biological kids of his own. Um, you know, unless there's, there's, there's large advancements in, in technology between now and then, which is certainly possible. When we talk to him about it, you know, we're, we're going to want to come at it from a really positive place of, of not telling him that he's got a problem and he's got a limitation. You know, it's, it's going to be something where we want to tell him he's, you know, he's got options. Hey, you're going to be able to, you're going to be able to adopt a kid if you want. You're going to be able to um, get, you know, donor sperm, you know, if, if that's your choice when you're, when you're a little bit older. We've got some friends who um, here in Bend, some, some good friends of ours that just adopted a son and uh, we haven't met him yet and we're really excited to, but we're also really excited that we've got some friends in our community that wanted to have kids, totally, most likely could have had kids, but chose to adopt and having that influence, you know, an auntie and uncle in his life that, you know, they've got a kid, he's, he's going to be amazing. And they they decided they decided that adoption was was right for them so you know that's that's definitely the way that we want to approach it as the possibilities of of if he decides he wants to have kids that there's there's options out there and not dwelling on you know the fact that he's sterile